Hi, I'm Matt Mayfield, and you're watching the Audio Fundamentals course. So a lot has been happening lately. I've been on tour for a week. I just got back. I've released an album. You can check it out right here. And we're about to conclude our series on dynamics processing with a unit on side chains. So a side chain is when you take a dynamics processor and you make it affect one channel using another. So we'll look at a metaphor that explains this in a kind of a funny way that's easy to remember. And we will also look at some common uses of sidechain processing and examples. So the metaphor that I have in mind is that whenever you use something like a compressor, a limiter, expander, or a gate, it's like you're hiring a robot studio assistant. Now, like all robots, it's very fast, and it's smart in terms of calculating things, but it has no intuition and no ability to make artistic decisions. It just follows instructions. And which programming it has depends on whether it's being used as a compressor or limiter or expander or gate or whatever. And let's just use compression as an example, since it's the, by far the most common. With normal compression, you're telling your robot assistant, okay, watch this meter, and whenever it goes above the threshold, turn down the fader according to the ratio. Now that's normal compression. Using a side chain is like hacking into the robot. And what you end up doing here is you break out your screwdriver and your pliers and everything, and you leave the robot's hand on the same fader where it was before, but you go into the head and move the eyes just a little bit over to the side. So now what the robot ends up doing is whenever this other meter next to the one it was looking at exceeds the threshold, then it turns down the first fader. Now this can be very useful, and there's three main things that people commonly use sidechains for. First one is ducking, second is de-essing, and the third is various special effects. So let's hear an example of each of these in turn. Ducking is by far the most common of the uses of sidechaining. And it's useful in radio voiceovers, podcasts, any place where you have background music and you want to make sure that the vocal, the voiceover, is able to be heard over the background music. <coughs> Next is de-essing. De-essing reduces the level of a track only when certain frequencies get louder. Most of the time you would do this with an actual de-esser, but for illustration, we'll go through and actually construct a de-esser out of a compressor and a sidechain and an EQ. The way this works is you take an altered copy of the original channel as the sidechain, as the meter that the robots now moved over eyes are looking at, and you EQ the sidechain so that the frequencies you want to get rid of are now the loudest. Then you put the compressor on the original channel and have it turned down whenever the sidechain becomes loud, like this. So here's an example of de-essing. I send a copy of my voice to the AUGS channel, EQ it so that the S's are even more obnoxious, and then compress the first channel using a sidechain. So here's an example of de-essing. I send a copy of my voice to the AUGS channel, EQ it so that the S's are even more obnoxious, and then compress the first channel using a side chain. Using a side chain. Using a side chain. I send a copy of my voice to the AUGS channel, EQ it so that the S's are even more obnoxious, and then compress the first channel using a side chain. Finally, there are several special effects you can use sidechains for. There are lots of different techniques, and you just have to experiment to find which ones you like best for your style of music. The one that might be most common is when you have a sustained part, such as a string synthesizer, and you use a kick drum in its sidechain so that the strings get quiet every time the kick drum hits, and then they come back up. This is an even more extreme example of that pumping and breathing that you heard when you put a compressor on a mix of drums.
For our second example, we'll actually use a sidechain with a different dynamics processor, in this case, a noise gate. And what we've done is we've set up some white noise, and we're going to use a gate to only let that white noise through when a TomTown sound comes through, like this. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next week. This month is very busy for me. I have lots of projects and trips that I'm going on and things, so you'll get a little bit shorter videos, but I am still going to do my very best to get one out every single week. So thank you again. I hope that you make comments, questions, um, and please check out my album. If you like it, recommend it to other people. It's Creative Commons license, so it's okay for you to make copies for other people. I just want people to hear it. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.